In the world of DIY, there is a single tool that every homeowner needs, and that, of course, is a tape measure. Now, this one sells for about 10 bucks, but one company wanted to make an improvement, or so they thought, and this is the Recon T1 electronic tape measure, and it's got a huge price tag of $259. But what makes this thing so special? I'm going to show you what I experienced with the tool and the capabilities, along with the problems, and I'd like to hear from you. Do you think this thing is worth it? weighs 1.79 pounds. Compare that to a regular tape measure, this thing can weigh less than half a pound. On the rear of the tape measure, you can either slide this compartment up slightly to reveal a USB-C charging port, or if you remove it all the way, you can take the battery out. But because this is electronic, as I pull the tape, you can read the measurement from the top of the tape measure. It is OLED. Now this offers you a ton of benefits, especially if you're getting older and you're trying to make what I would call blind measurements, where you're sticking your tape measure into a tight corner. But this goes one step further. Once you pull the tape out and get the measurement that you want, you'll notice there's a plus button on top. When you press it, you'll see your screen flash and at that point, this device has made a recording of the measurement you just took. This is a black and white display that's a paper white display. This is the kind you might have on your Kindle, and this acts like an adding machine tape. You can record a maximum of 1,000 individual measurements, but it goes one step further. There is a free app that will essentially communicate with this device, and you can send those measurements to the app. They even have a live mode. So as I'm pulling this tape out, I'm not only seeing the measurement here, I will additionally get the measurement on the app. But that's where my first problem began. I could get the app to load, and one of the first things I needed to do was to update the firmware inside this tool. There were a number of problems. First off, the update did complete successfully, but then the tool told me I needed to recalibrate it. The big reason to use that app, and possibly to buy this tool, is to be able to transmit your recorded measurements to the app, and you can also get a live view. So as you're using the tool, that live view will show whoever is using your app exactly what you see on the screen. And unfortunately, I never got it to work a single time. And that was pretty disappointing since that was supposed to be a primary reason that people would use it. It could be an issue with my phone or me, but I really felt that it shouldn't be this difficult to get that app to work. But one thing you might be wondering is, how does this actually know where it is? It's not reading these numbers on the tape. When we flip this tape over, you'll see what kind of looks like a QR code or a barcode on the back. This pattern is transmitting a series of measurements, so it doesn't necessarily know that this is three inches. It's just computing how far along the tape has been pulled out. Parts of it could be damaged or even marked up with something like paint, and you could still get an accurate measurement. My experience with this tool was really mixed. I was so excited to get this thing and I really thought I would be blown away. But in fact, after using it for about a half an hour, I became very frustrated. I had to do some trim work around my garage doors. This was some weather stripping and I was super excited to get to use this. But on the second measurement, the device completely froze. I got a really weird error on the screen. I ended up having to pull the battery out put it back in, and the unit did reboot, but then it also said I needed to update the firmware again. And that also meant I had to calibrate this blade again. So as you can imagine, for spending $260, having problems like that right up front were not a good sign. Now it does have some clever features. At the end of this really wide tape, it's got an integrated magnet and it is quite strong. But for $260, this device does have one other trick up its sleeve that is pretty cool. And that is an integrated laser. This one is a high intensity green laser. If you're trying to make a measurement where you want to align two things, having this built in can be pretty handy. The laser has one inherent flaw. Though it is handy for rough measurements, if the tape measure is angled even slightly, your laser is no longer aligned. The laser isn't braced off of anything solid, so as you move, the laser will move with you. That means essentially, it's useless for doing something like hanging a picture or a cabinet, even aligning anything like a pipe where you need extreme accuracy. And there's not even a leveling device of any kind, digital or analog, inside this tape measure. Now, of course, you could certainly measure from your ceiling, but as you know, most ceilings are not even, and your two holes wouldn't even be accurate. Now, like a regular tape measure that would normally have a measurement printed on the handle to tell you how wide your tape measure is, this one can do it electronically. In this mode, when I pull it forward, I will get a measurement of 11 inches right to the front of the tape measure. But if I want a measurement from end to end, all I've got to do is go through these menus and I can adjust it so that it will now include the tape measure automatically. But unfortunately, there's no single button here to do that. Another feature inside the menu system is you can automatically determine the center of a measurement. The tape is very well made. It's all steel, holds itself in position with an integrated brake. You can retract it with a single button, 
but you can also push this button down, slide one switch, and now the tape will automatically kind of free wheel. The build quality of this tool is excellent. It's heavy duty rubber, it feels quite solid, and it says it can survive a drop of about 12 feet. Now I tried using this tool for a number of different projects and I shared that the first project was pretty much a disaster and I had to go back to a standard tape measure. Now I don't do a whole lot of reviews of a product that I don't like because this one didn't start off that way. I originally expected this tool to blow me away and I figured the only complaint would of course be the price. But in this case the real issue is the product itself. To be fair this company could potentially solve these issues with software updates and firmware but this was shipped as a finished product. The one feature of this tool that I absolutely loved was the ability to read your measurement from the top of the tape measure, but I think I may have a better option. This is called the Gator Tape, it sells for under $40, it's completely mechanical, but it gives you the same ability to read your measurement on the top of the tape. Now this is certainly not Bluetooth enabled or digital, but this is very inexpensive, and I think for me this is going to be a great alternative, but I really would love to know what you guys think. I try my best with these reviews to cover all the topics that I think you'd be interested in, but you may be a pro or an avid DIYer that sees some abilities in this tomahawk that I just don't. So let me know if you think I missed the mark, or how you might even use a tool like this in your profession. And if you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the Silver Symbol channel for more videos coming up.